This viral video produced a light bulb moment for Jasmine Crow. People were like, this is so amazing. Who donated the food? And the truth was nobody. I was couponing, price matching, cooking all this food myself, you know, taking it downtown, having to come back, clean up my kitchen. And I was feeding about three to 500 people every time I would do this. As a sideline to her celebrity consultancy business, Jasmine had been feeding the hungry. So I was hosting these pop-up restaurants and essentially it was like a five course meal, but it was you know largely in parking lots and alleyways and in parks. And I would print off menus and allow people to kind of order and be served like they were at a restaurant. Um, so really trying to bring that dignity experience back. After seeing the response to her video, Jasmine decided to scale up the operation. And in 2017, she founded Gooder. Gooder sees hunger not as an issue of scarcity, but rather a matter of logistics. If we're wasting nearly 80 billion pounds of food that's good every single year, it's more about connecting people with this excess food. To make that connection, Jasmine created a tech-based waste management service. Gooder now has a network of surplus food suppliers, including restaurants, airports, and sports teams. Though attracting new donors can be tough. One obstacle that I have to get over all the time is people saying like, well, if we donate the food and someone gets sick, then we can be sued. In reality, that's not the case. Uh, since 1996, under President Bill Clinton, the Good Samaritan Act was signed, which says in clear writing, people donating food in good faith will not be held liable, but people still are afraid. Gooder's goal is simple. Collect excess food from those who have it and give it free to those who need it. So this is not food that's actually in the dumpster. What this is, is this is the food where you're at a wedding or you're at an event and they make all this extra food and then people don't show up. So it's the same food that you and I would be eating, but it just is essentially left or it's extra. As part of Gooder's mission, inedible food is also collected and used as compost. In the U.S. we're really behind. If you look at countries like France and Italy, it's already illegal for businesses to waste perfectly good food. They have to donate it to a nonprofit organization. So we're really trying to kind of go up against this kind of old guard. Gouda operates in many cities nationwide and hopes to eventually reach every major U.S. market. Recently, Jasmine expanded Gouda's reach, teaming up with rapper Gunner to create Gunner's Drip Closet a grocery and clothing store in Atlanta. We built a grocery store right inside of a school. Our next grocery store project will be for senior citizens inside of a senior home. So we're gonna keep on rethinking how we are solving hunger in this country. And we do think that sometimes you have to have additional items. Jasmine combines her work with Gooda with being a new mom, speaker and author. It's a busy life, but a rewarding one. I recently wrote a children's book um, called Everybody Eats, which is all about helping kids, you know, pick up the torch and solve hunger too. Um, but this is really what brings me a lot of joy. So even though it seems like work, I guess when you're living in your purpose, it just, it's, it feels good every day.